Hello everyone and welcome to the Reddit Railway. My name is Victor and I'll be your driver. Today's destination is r slash relationships. So all aboard. My boyfriend and I have been together for about a year and a half now. We met at work, hit it off and are now living together. We work for the same company but at different locations. We generally have a good relationship with the occasional fight, but we've been going through a rough patch lately over finances, from moving in and whatnot. Although my problem lies mostly with his work girlfriend, my company has several locations and he is an assistant manager that floats between them whenever someone calls in sick, but he is based at one particular store three out of five days a week. About a month ago, this girl transferred there from out of state. She works with him on the three days he's at that store, so they see each other often and for long periods of time. Generally, it's usually just them and an additional person working. They text each other sometimes. Mostly it's work related, but lately when I go on his messages, we're pretty lax about phones with each other. I see them talking about other things like hobbies. It didn't bother me because I understood she was new to the state, and from what he told me, she didn't really know anyone besides her co-workers. Then I realized he downloads Snapchat. She was also his number one best friend, and and they were on an eight day snapping streak. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm a huge Snapchatter. I mostly use Snapchat for social media and I've been begging him for the longest time to download it. He always said it was a waste of time, but he downloaded it for her? When I confronted him about it, he shrugged it off and said it wasn't a big deal. I didn't want to push the issue because of our rough patch. I thought I was being insecure because she is honestly stunning. So maybe there's a bit of jealousy behind it. Today, I saw her name pop up on his phone. When I opened the message, I saw that he agreed to pick her up from the airport on Sunday. We made plans to go to my family's party on Sunday, which is about an hour and a half away from the airport. He said he was planning to leave the gathering early so he could pick her up and they could hang out afterwards. When I asked him about it, he once again said it wasn't that big of a deal. He has no romantic interest in her and he was being nice by hanging out with her because she's new and that I was overreacting. Am I in the wrong here? No, OP, you're not in the wrong. You have every right to be suspicious, especially if you're going through a rough patch. It's also suspicious he download Snapchat not because you requested it, but so he could follow her. And unless you accused him first of having feelings for her, why did he say he doesn't? To me, this screams he's checked out of the relationship and is hoping to start another one. There are two updates to this post, so let's see if that's what did happen. I sat down with my boyfriend the morning after I posted and asked him about his relationship with his co-worker. I told him I felt he was being overly flirtatious, that it was weird and suspicious. I also told him I saw his text about him picking her up and it did not sit well with me, especially since he never planned on telling me and was going to leave my family's event early. He looked annoyed but eventually admitted he developed a crush on her because she was the opposite of me. He said she was fun and easy to talk to, that she put effort into her appearance, whereas I didn't. I got really upset after this and refused to talk to him. I left and went to my best friend's house. He didn't even text or call. My best friend and her boyfriend were freaking amazing. They ordered some wings and we watched Hulu. They told me they never really liked him because he always seemed lukewarm to me, like I was just a friend. I remember when I was younger, my mum had gotten out of a really bad relationship and told me to never settle for someone who didn't look at me like I put the stars in the sky. Seeing how awesome and amazing my best friend's boyfriend was to me and how they were with each other made me realize I was better off single. It was clear my boyfriend would rather put more effort into a crush than into a year and a half live-in relationship. In the morning, I went back and he was sitting on the couch. He asked me if I was feeling better and if I still need more space. I told him that I wanted to break up and that I would be moving out soon. I said that I would pay for my half of next month's rent. He didn't even look phased. He just nodded and got up to leave. I was trying my absolute best to be stoic about it, but kind of failed after I saw how nonchalant he was. I don't know if he went to pick her up or not. I went to my family's event and tried to have a good time, even with all the questions about where he was. I've been packing my stuff while he's at work to move back in with my parents. We haven't talked apart from financial and housing stuff. I've been finding the urge to really cuss him out and ask why he's so neutral about this. I've been a huge wreck, but I've always been a firm believer that living well is the best revenge. I've been trying to keep busy to take my mind off it, but it sucks a lot sometimes, especially at night. Update 2. I mentioned in the first post that my ex was a floater for our company. Floaters are very common because we have a lot of stores. It turns out that his work girlfriend became one as well. During one of my shifts, she showed up to fill in for a co-worker. At first I was planning to ignore her except for work-related things. I figured from her reaction to me, she didn't know who I was and I didn't want a confrontation. But it got slow and we started talking. We were asking general questions about each other and I mentioned that I dated Corey, not his real name, and that he worked at her base store. She she looked genuinely shocked. She mentioned to me that she had no idea he had a girlfriend. She 
She thought he'd live with a roommate who worked for the same company. Whenever he mentioned my name, she assumed he was referring to the roommate. I didn't get the feeling she was lying. If she was, she should be acting. Anyway, I was so pissed that I ended up telling her everything. I told her about the Snapchat thing and she apologized because she didn't know he wasn't that into Snapchat. She showed me her best friends list and he wasn't even on it. However, next to his name on her contacts, there was that face slash icon where you're on someone's best friends list, but they're not on yours. Also, she said she asked for everyone's Snapchat because she prefers snaps over everything. If they don't have it, she tells them to download it. She had a score of 30,000 or something equally large. Then I told her about the airport thing and how he handled it. She apologized again, said she wouldn't have asked someone's boyfriend had she known he was dating someone. And get this, the only reason she asked my boyfriend was because the guy she was talking to, i.e. interested in, was out of town. She never mentioned to him that she was dating anyone because she doesn't like to talk about her love life that much. She ended up asking one of the other co-workers to pick her up. She also said the reason she became a floater was another one of the assistant managers at her base store was getting too flirty and she didn't like that. She then started going off about how she hated guys like Corey and how could he do that to me. She thought he was just being nice since he was one of the first people she met after she moved. I can see how she would mistake his flirting as niceness now that I think about it. He sucked at flirting. From my impression of her, I could tell Corey would take her friendliness as flirting. She was really nice and friendly. I did have some resentment before, but now I definitely don't. As for me, well I've almost moved out and I feel a lot better about my decision and the breakup after meeting his work girlfriend. I still haven't talked to him at all. And this is why you don't ever become a simp. You'll just make a fool of yourself. And the ex is definitely a fool. Not only did he get dumped by his girlfriend, but the woman he's crushing on isn't even interested in him. That's both pathetic and satisfying. You're well and truly better off without him, OP, especially given the nasty things he said to you. Best of luck to you. Anyway, we've come to the end of our journey. Thank you for traveling on the Reddit Railway, and we hope to see you again soon.